All right, this fish just smashed a crankbait right at dusk. Nice walleye. It's about a 17 incher. Maybe not quite. That's a good fish. Good good. Deal with that. Just Thanks. We'll throw him in the live well. So for our first fish, that's about a 16 incher probably. Holy shit, my heart's pounding. <laughs> that was a sweet hook set by Rick though. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of McGrath Fishing. I am back out with yours truly, Rick Dominey. He is now on the Follow the Action Pro staff, as well as a salesman for Follow the Action. So, we're out here on a lake that I am not going to say, but we're going for some walleye tonight. We're throwing some crankbaits, I'll show you guys. Perch imitations. We're reeling it very slow, just like a slow retrieve, very slow, slow as possible. Slow er er er. We're going to see if we can get the walleye bite on. Rick's out here guiding me today on a new lake, a new body of water. So tune in for another episode of McGrath Fishing. All right, slap it down. So yeah, it's about an inch over the, what was it, 14, 15? It's about 16 inches. Might be close to 17, it's hanging off. Yeah. Alright guys, so I just missed my second one of the night. Feels like they're nipping it in the ass right now, but I'm feeling good about it. We're getting a lot of action, so Rick, as always, putting us on some good fish. Northern? Or walleye? Northern. Northern crap. No wonder it hits so hard. Alright guys, so Rick just hooked on to a northern. Thought it was a big walleye, but you know, fish is a fish. We're going for the walleyes tonight. Not a bad fish. Yeah. Hit hard. <laughs> How many walleyes are we targeting for the catch and cook? I'd say one a person. Alright. So, we're going to do a catch and cook with these walleye. We already got one on board. About 16, 17 inch walleye. We're going to see how many more we can get. Here we go. Let's get it. There it is, that's a walleye. Tommy, you get to eat. Well guys, I caught one. Should I measure it? All right guys, that was my first fish of the night. Rick has a walleye in a northern, and I have a walleye. I missed two earlier, so that one felt really good. Not a bad walleye. What'd you say this is, Rick? 19. Keeper? Yeah, Good definitely. eater? Definitely, yes, definitely. Alrighty, another one going in the live well. Probably the coolest way to catch walleye. I've honestly never caught walleye with a crankbait like this, so to come out here with Rick and get on these things, I mean, wow. Awesome, my heart's flying out of my chest. This may be, uh, my PB was a little fatter, 19 and a half. We got three good eaters in there. There we go. All right, so the biggest walleye going in. We are done for the night. It's about 12, 15, 12, 30, I'm not really sure. But I'm gonna put all these in the cooler and me and Rick are gonna do the catch and cook tomorrow. We are back, done for the night. I got the walleye on the ice. You know, tonight was awesome. We got them on crankbaits. Me and Rick are coming back here and then we are gonna finish up this video for the walleye catch and cook. I had an awesome time tonight. It was so cool catching these walleye and crankbaits. It's something that I haven't really done before. And the way we did it, which is really cool. We had a lot of action tonight. I missed about three fish. He missed about two, so we could have had a few more, but the walleye we got are awesome. They're perfect size. So we will see you guys back here in the morning. You'll see me right about. Alrighty guys, so it is 111. We are at the Triggs of Minocqua. Rick is inside grabbing his special ingredients to do an awesome walleye catch and cook. So we caught these walleye last night. They've been on ice all night. The reason why we didn't do it last night is because we didn't get home till probably about 12.30, one o'clock in the morning. 
And then this morning, we got up about 7, 7.30. We went out musky fishing. We were literally on our way back from musky fishing right now. So we're going to finish up this catch and cook and then also finish up this musky video. So be sure to go check out that musky video when it's out. Like I said, I'm sitting in the Triggs parking lot. I'm waiting for him. And then we're going to shoot back to my house and flay these walleye up. See you there. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Shout out dude shoes for awesome boat shoes. I got some socks on them with them right now. Usually I go bare feet, but it was cold this morning. But these things are awesome boat shoes. I literally love these. And you guys know me, everyone who watches these videos, if you guys are new, you guys know that I'm big into the Jordan slides. I'm always in sandals, but these may be a new go-to for boat shoes. I'll leave a link in the description below for Hey Dude Shoes. I'm trying to get that sponsorship. All right, guys, we are back at the house. I am here with the professional guide, Rick Domini, pro staff guide, Rick Domini, and Meg. Meg's gonna film this, so we're gonna flay up the walleye that we caught last night. We just got back from musky fishing, and I'm not gonna tell you anything about that. You guys can go check out the video, but all right, so we're gonna flay these walleye up, kind of do a little bit of a tutorial of how Rick does it, his recipe. Here we go. Okay, so when I'm flaying a walleye, super important to have a sharp knife. The first cut I'm gonna make is right behind the gill. Down and it's not necessary to go all the way through. Just get a good start going and then we can come back. From the head all the way through, you can even just cut all the way around that. Okay, now I'm gonna turn the fish over and get my knife tip as close to this line as I can. And again, I'm not cutting way in. I'm just using my knife tip to get a start here. Okay, now I've got a nice start. I'm gonna flip him around. And I'm gonna follow that line I made, but by laying the fish down, it helps me get my knife blade along there a lot better. And once you're back to this point, you can push your blade all the way through and come back to the tail. Okay, now the nice thing about this is now I've got that line I started here. I'm gonna turn my knife blade in and just kind of shave and feel my way along the rest of the bone structure here. The rib cage. There's our first fillet. Cut that off. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side here. There's our second fillet. And this goes in the garbage. This is the biggest trick I can tell you when you're filleting, especially walleye, but most fish. This line here, the lateral line, has a row of bones. So what I'm gonna do to make sure this fillet is completely boneless is slice down that lateral line on this side and then same thing here so that I can take that strip out after I skin this. Now I'm gonna come back, putting my knife under the fillet and again using that angle and a shaving motion, I just slide my knife blade along that skin and take this fillet off the side. As you can see, this is like the tenderloin. I'm not so worried about down here along the stomach section is mostly fat and very thin. Here's your best meat. Now this fillet, I can guarantee anybody, like if they have little kids, there's not gonna be a bone in there. All right guys, we're on our last walleye. Rick just flayed him up. Kind of give you guys a little how-to, his tutorial, the way he does it, the best way that works for him. So I hope you guys enjoy the little segment. We're gonna get these fried up. These are gonna be amazing. Delicious lunch, right after musky fishing, the way it should be. Because like we did last night, we fished late. Uh, what do you do with your fish? You don't feel like cleaning the fish at night, so we put them on ice. And it is a big deal for people. Uh, we just had this cooler but a lot of ice. You can keep a fish for two days. We just had them sitting in there overnight. They're fresh, as you can see, that meat looks really good. They're bleeding. This is a sure sign that this fish is still very fresh. This is gonna be restaurant quality fish, so we gotta make sure we do it right. Restaurant quality. The best fish you ever had. How about that? That's tall talk. So if you want a super easy way of making walleye or other fish, Butter, 
and seasoning in a fry pan. And really this fish, you're not gonna believe how good it's gonna taste. Okay, so we've got melted butter, and I'm gonna take this Creole seasoning and just sprinkle it right into the butter. I'm not shy about how much of this I'm putting in here. It smells good. Okay, now the fillets are gonna go right into that nice mix. I think these are just about there. When your fish fall apart, you know they're done, and I can tell these are just about to that point. And let them keep cooking a little bit longer. All right, guys, the fish are about to be done. I'm like watering at the mouth. The Cajun seasoning is probably the spice that's gonna make this go round. Rick's doing an awesome job cooking these up. I, I definitely could not have done better. Like I said, I'm new to the catch and cook whole scenario. But these look amazing, I'm so excited to eat these. Fresh as it gets, from the lake to the pan. Megan, I know you're gonna love this, so I'm not just giving you a little piece. You get a whole plate full. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. All right, guys, we're gonna take the first bite of the freshly caught walleye we just caught last night. It is unreal, amazing taste. Probably one of the best fish I've ever had up here in the North Woods. And they do fish, fish fries all the time. Nice job, Rick. Thank you. Guys, Meg doesn't even like fish, and she thinks this is phenomenal. Doesn't like fish, seafood, nothing. Ate a whole plate full. Remember what I said when I put it on the plate. It's really good. A bite. It's really, really good. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this walleye catch and cook. This was awesome to be able to go out on a new lake with Rick to show me a pretty much a brand new technique for what I have been used to. So to go out there to crank some walleye on some crankbaits, pardon the pun, was really fun, awesome catch and cook, great recipe by Rick, thank you very much for cooking them. No problem. Definitely gonna steal that recipe from you. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next week. <laughs>